Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. How you doing? The kids have come to play today. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. With all due respect, have several seats. My girls are always turned out. I give it to you straight, no chaser. Now, here's Wendy. Great, let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Thank you. So, oh, oh, Lamar, 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 Lamar. You know, um, as we all know by now that Lamar is continuing to fight for his life. All reports are, are saying he only has a 50-50 chance. He's still unconscious um, and in a coma, and he was found Tuesday, as you know, at a Nevada brothel. Apparently, they're saying this was an overdose a cross between cocaine. Um, they also mentioned the crack part of cocaine in the reports, and um, herbal Viagra. Now, supposedly with the herbal Viagra, you take one, but Lamar took like 10, allegedly. <laughs> yeah, well, um, he was alone when they found him, and apparently he was upset because of the episode on Sunday night of Kardashian. Sunday, right? Yeah. yeah. In the episode, that was the one where um, they talked about his two friends who had passed within like a week and a half of one another. And Lamar didn't like the way he was portrayed. And Chloe is now making all the medical decisions because they're still married. Yeah, they're, they're still married. So he's got two kids who live here in New York with um, his baby's mother, Liza. And the kids are 13 and 17. So Liza and the kids are at the hospital along with, you know, a litany of Kardashians and, you, you, you know, it's, a, it's, I guess, a wait and see thing. You know, the doctors are trying. The thing about having strokes, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but we've all heard that too, that he's had, you know, multiple strokes while being, you know, in this coma. Um, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people that I spoke to blame the Kardashians for this you know, saying that, you know, reality TV is too much. And I do agree, reality TV ruins lives. And, you know, on one hand, but on the other hand, you know, coming from a place of addiction, you know, uh, you, I've shared with you my ratchet past and, you know, what I went through and, and, you know, I'm over it. But I can tell you that nobody puts, you know, Coke to your nose, but you. And, and nobody... <laughs> And people look for a reason to hate this family even more. You know, they're not my favorite family, but you know, on one hand. On the other hand, if you know anything about addiction, then you know there's only one person that can help the person addicted, and that is the person doing the drugs. Um, I feel really sorry for his kids because they're old enough to be, and hopefully the kids at their high school will not taunt them and tease them and be very easy on them regarding their father. But he's overcome a lot, Lamar has. I mean, you know, he grew up in Queens in the, in the projects and, you know, his mom was um, a CEO, 
a correct, yeah, a CEO, correction officer, and she passed away when he was only 12 years old. And, and his father um, has battled heroin, you know. <clears throat> he was raised by his grandmother, <clears throat> who passed away about 10 years ago. Uh, what to say, you know, on one hand. On the other hand, Lamar, was, Lamar is smart enough to, if he gets through this, pull himself out. Because to me, if you're smart enough and focused enough to pull yourself from the ashes of public housing, get multi, you know, tens of millions of, hundreds of millions of dollars in basketball, then you're smart enough to just say no. So. So we, like everyone else, will be following this story. I'm sure that there'll be plenty more developments from you, uh, f you know, for you. Uh, but joining us right now via Skype is the owner of the Love Ranch where Lamar was found, uh, Dennis Hoff. Hi, Dennis. Hi, hi, Jenny. Yo, that was very heartfelt and it was very beautiful. I can't Thank hear you. Dennis. This is why I don't like yep. Skype. Hi, Dennis. 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 Hi, Wendy. Hi. How you doing? I, you know what I'm doing as well as you can do when something terrible like this happens. You know, celebrities come to me for privacy and discretion, and then all of a sudden uh, we have a terrible, terrible incident, and we're all very sad. Yeah, Dennis, so Lamar has a condo in Vegas, and you sent a car service to pick him up to take him about an hour and a half away to your ranch? Called on Saturday and said, can I come out? Yes, put him in the VIP house. Tell him no drugs, because of course everybody knows his history. Uh, he promised he wouldn't have any. Came out, great guy, great mood, having a lot of fun, partying with the girls, drinking his cognac. Uh, we didn't see any signs of uh, any drugs at all. So you sell this herbal Viagra there at the ranch? Yeah, and every gas station, truck stop. It's something that's it's oh. very common. It's a, it's a herbal supplement is what it is. And uh, it's, it, makes, it makes people, it gives them energy. Uh, they call it an ED thing, but I think it's more about energy. It's like doing multiple um, uh, uh, energy drinks at the same time, in my mind. Uh huh. And so the reports are saying that he was with two women, uh, two. two blondes, right? Two, yep, two blondes. One of them was named Ryder Cherry, and the other one was named Monica Monroe. Uh, of course, these are their stage names. I see the smile on your face. Um. <laughs> Let me ask you, sidebar, how much is one of these girls per night? Like, if you pay for two, how much is that per night? Well, you, you can spend as little or as much as you want. You can spend a few hundred, hundred or a few, a few million there. Uh, it happened that Lamar wanted a long period of time. Uh, he gave the girls $75,000, uh, but he planned on being there a long time and uh, at least five days, and then he, he called and wanted me to come down and we were gonna have a little birthday party for me, so it would've ended up being like 10 days uh, by the time uh, he, he left. Wow. So do you or any of your girls suspect that um, Lamar at some point was high, not just drinking? We said we had no reason to suspect that at all. He was very honest. He said, I've been partying in Vegas. I had done some coke uh, on Saturday. I didn't bring any with me out of respect to Dennis and his business. Oh, so he told and you that. I, I want to take him at his word, although yeah. we, we all know that drug addicts uh, lie. And, and I, I just hope that he was honest and that, uh, and that wasn't the cause of it because he doesn't name, need his name uh, ruined anymore. Right? He's, a, he's a wonderful guy and everybody at my place just loved him. He's entertaining, he's fun, he's sensitive and they can't say one bad word about Lamar. Yeah, it was a, he's a very nice man. Um, so when the cops came to your ranch, did they search through everything suspecting that you or some of the girls might have done a cover up? In other words, if there were drugs around other than these Viagras, a cover up of the scene? Absolutely, but what happened is the girls saw this, immediately called the management, they ran in there and called 911 and so numerous people were in, in the room uh, at the same time, trying to roll him over and get him on his left side, like 911 said. Uh, the police came, of course. There wasn't any paraphernalia. There, there wasn't any drugs that they've told us about. They did search his, his backpack and his belongings, mm -hmm. and we did not. Uh, but we think that if there was anything in it, they would have said something immediately, and they didn't do that. And, uh, so, so, and so the helicopter landed on your property there at the ranch? 
No. Yes. The what what happened yeah. is the ambulance took him to Pahrump, Nevada, which okay. is 20 miles away, and then uh, they got him in there and immediately said, "This is a problem. He may not make it. We need to life flight him to Las Vegas to Sunrise Hospital, where mm. he's at now." He wouldn't fit in the helicopter. He's the thing that made 10. him famous and rich, his height, was a problem. Yeah. Wow. Well, those extra moments probably could have, you know, helped him out a lot. Um, are you now absolutely. worried about losing your license? No, absolutely not. I mean, we 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 weren't involved in anything, and, and we hope he wasn't. Uh, you know, things happen, and, and things happen in, in all businesses in America. And all we can do is run our business. We let him know we didn't want any drugs in the place. We saw no signs of it. So I'm not concerned about that at all. I'm, I'm more concerned about Lamar and, and getting healthy and, and uh, getting back out to the ranch and, and hanging out with the girls, which he enjoys. Uh, one more question, Dennis. Um, I know that the ranch has lots of women, but do you have men? Like, what if a woman wanted to go to the ranch and, and spend four days with a strange man? Do you have men? Well, you know what, Wendy, I, I'd bring in Flavor Flav or Ron Jeremy or one of my buddies for that, uh, but we're not into that yet, although Heidi Fleiss wants to do that with me and we're talking about it. So oh. you may you may see Heidi Stud Farm uh, next Stud to the- Stud Farm, I love that. Thank you very much, Dennis, for sharing. Thank you, Our Wendy. thoughts are definitely Lamar. with Lamar and his family. And again, we'll be following this story. Thank you. <laughs> so the streets are talking about Rumor Willis. Well, you know, she's on Broadway. She's starring um, in Chicago. Roxy Hart is her role. And that is the star of the Chicago uh, thing. Yeah, uh-huh. Reportedly, though, they're saying that she's unfriendly uh, to her co-stars and also a huge diva backstage. Aww. Now, now you know, I'm not gonna compare me doing Matron Mom and Mama Morton in Chicago to being the star <laughs> Roxy Hart, but, but what I can tell you as a Broadway insider <laughs> is, well, part, you know what? Part of the beauty of being on Broadway is that there's no room for diva antics and you bond with your co-stars. You leave your husband at home. You leave your wife out there. You don't come with security. You don't have a makeup artist. There's a woman who does your wigs but eat, and she'll place it for you or you place it yourself. There's no room for your friends and, and, fam and people like, there is no room for that. And you know, at the theater where they do Chicago, it's as rickety backstage as most of the Broadway theaters because it's, they're old. Um, in between, like when we do Chicago, some of us sit on stage, you know, in between acts, you know, sit on stage. If you've never been, you don't know what I'm talking about. But then the rest, when you're not on stage, you're backstage and you're sitting on rickety old cement stairs. For me, I'd be sitting there going over my Hot Topics notes for the next morning. <laughs> or, no, no lie, or texting my son or reading the Inquirer until I can make an eye contact and get in with my co-stars. It was difficult for the first couple of days, but afterwards it's like, oh my gosh, I mean, people are, like there's, if the coffee is not good, you better not ask anybody to bring you an extra sugar. <laughs> in, you know, like Broadway, <clears throat> As a matter of fact, don't ask anyone to bring you a coffee. On Broadway, you bring all of your own stuff and it's part of the beauty of it. It's so simple yet so complicated and rumor, there's no time for diva antics, but these also could be haters looking down on her, <laughs> spreading stories to uh, the newspapers and hot topics. Um, I mean, because you have people on Broadway who work all their lives to get there and Broadway is the biggest way of all. Um, and then they get there and next thing you know, you got a talk show host. <laughs> Roller skating in, never studied Broadway and doing it. Or you know, you got some entitled, you know, rich girl from Hollywood. You didn't go to Juilliard. <laughs> you know, But in my opinion, that's all the more reason to be even nicer and more humble. Like, oh my, like I, you, when I did Chicago, and I loved it, but I was like, 
probably overly nice to everybody because I didn't want people to think that I'm taking it for granted. I don't know why her parents haven't talked to her about this. Well, Demi is not really a mom, she's more like a friend. <laughs> so maybe she doesn't have those kind of talks with her. You know, sit your girl down and say, look, you be humble and, and do your run and it'll be wonderful. I don't know what to say about this, is, except I hope it's not true, but if it is true, she's doing the wrong thing. Shout out to everybody on Broadway. <laughs> Suzanne, I love your shoes. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. They're all shiny and glittery. They're really glittery and I a thought, good heel I for thought, you. I thought you'd like them. Yeah, thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> Stepping it up for season seven. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. You. Thank you. <laughs> Another reality TV star might be heading to prison. <laughs> Dance Moms, Abby Lee Miller. Apparently she was just indicted for bankruptcy fraud. Oh. All right, so I was like, what does this mean? What, explain. So allegedly she hid over $750,000 after filing for bankruptcy, but still accepting outside funds from like business and stuff. But she's hiding that money while claiming to be broke over here. Right? Ow, I've got the neck. You know when you wake up in the morning, you get the neck? Ow, the neck is still, ow. Anyway, if she's convicted, she could be going away for five years. <laughs> and face a fine of $5 million. Uh, I don't, I think she's so pretty. Don't you think she's pretty? I think Abby Lee Miller is really pretty and she's got a really good smile. But if she's a crook, the girls in prison are gonna love that pretty. This is the thing. Um, this happens to reality stars. It sounds like um, Abby Lee has been Teresa and Jode. Where you go on TV, you live your life like it's golden, people are looking, the IRS, your neighbors, your friends, somebody calls in the whistle, next thing you know, you're in prison. Mike, the situation might be going to prison from Jersey Shore. Now, you know, uh, it, they say he wasn't paying his taxes for years and years and years, <clears throat> and guess what? If you pay your taxes and I pay my taxes, then somebody needs to go to jail for not doing theirs. Apollo's in prison. We, we forgot all about Apollo, right? We forgot all about Apollo. We haven't talked about Apollo in a very long time. Well, there's nothing to really talk about. He's doing his time. I don't, you all, that reality TV is just a monster and not in a good way. All right, ow, let's move along. <laughs> <Ooh>. <clears throat> Congratulations, haters. <laughs> you finally got the best of Jennifer Lopez. Oh. And she's talking about it. Oh. Okay. She went on Good Morning Britain. Yes, we watch everything here at Wendy. <laughs> and she talked about how she's insecure because people say she can't sing. Well, no, take a look, and I've got an opinion. I always do. Go ahead. I can't believe that you were insecure about your own voice. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I took a beating over that for so many years in the media. I think it really worked on my insecurities. I always wanted to be a singer, and I was always a dancer and a singer, but then when you get out there and people start really judging you for that, and they start dissecting you apart, and you think, I, 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 <laughs> I thought I was good at this, and, and it works on you, you know? We're human. Well, look, I mean, I love her, but can we talk? Yeah. Singing was never her forte. Yeah. Yeah. 
her, Janet Jackson. Like there's a litany of girls who aren't the best singers, but you know what? Susan Boyle's a great singer. But I don't see you rushing to a Susan Boyle <laughs> album release party. We like a showgirl, yeah. right? Right? I mean, I would rather be able to sing this much, but dance on heels this much. You know? And give the people what they paid for, which is shimmy and shake. Besides, these days with all those studio antics and stuff, that auto tune and all that mess, it can make anybody sing great. You know, but nobody, not just everybody can shimmy and shake and dance and prance. So Jennifer, don't you worry about that singing thing. Don't even take vocal lessons, okay? Just shimmy and shake and stay flexible. Yeah. <laughs> We've got more fantastic show for you, everybody. Gospel superstars, Mary and Mary are here. They're gonna perform for us today, we love them. But up next, our friend Dr. Gadget is joining us with the hottest gadget for your home. So don't go far. Thank you. New Wendy. It's some good old fashioned girl talk in Hot Topics. Okay. And we're thinking pink. We get the incredible story of GMA's Amy Robach. And we celebrate more amazing survivors. Today I am cancer free. Tomorrow on an all new Wendy. <laughs> I love when our first guest comes by. He's got some must-have items for your home. Please say hello to our friend, Dr. Gadget. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Good to see you. How does okay. it feel to be on the number one show in daytime? Oh. Yeah. Uh oh All right. All right. I, mean, I have great solutions for the house today. Yeah. Great I solutions. I was just talking about the neck. neck. What is this? This is great. This is the Hometics Shiatsu Elite Massage System, and it's actually with heat and a cushion. Don't turn that off. You okay. know why? Okay. Because I want you to sit down and enjoy this. Oh, get She said neck. she had a bad neck, right? Let me tell you something. Who wouldn't want a Shiatsu massage at home? Yeah. Right? Who, who wouldn't want to get that? There are the three different zones. Oh, my gosh. You got the heat going on. You got the Shiatsu. Yes. Uh, you know it's what? Here and How's it feel here. on your neck? It's perfect. It's really good. And retails my lower back. For, retails for two hundred and forty-nine dollars. Really? Okay. I know you want to stay there the rest of the show, but we have to get up. We got more stuff to do. I know. All right. Oh, it's great. See you later. Isn't it awesome? Uh huh. Okay. Ladies are always doing everything, anyways. I love this. This is the Phillips Pasta Maker. Okay. Mm. Now this is going to give you perfect textured pasta in 15 minutes mm. and you can actually cut it oh, wow. to your desired length so we're making some penne right here right yeah okay so we put the flour we've put the egg we put the water in there put it in there and just guess what just turn it off and cut it to the desired length all right and it comes it comes with these great Four shaping dishes. We got we got penne, we got spaghetti, we got fettuccine, right? And we got the ravioli one. Well, actually, well, what do you call this? Well, that's okay. That's lasagna. Look, okay. That's all right. No, but no, but what's really to your point is really great because this is going to allow you to do things you can't do at home. So let's say you want to put a little um, beet juice in there. Okay? Right. So now you're going to beet juice pasta. Yeah. Right. Or you want to put a little carrot juice in there. Have carrot juice pasta. Give it a little bit of color like that. Right there. There's there. nothing like homemade pasta. And I tell you what, now you get the real Italian the real feel, good right? Juice. You got to go. Yeah. How much is this? Oh. This this is $349. Okay. Okay. This is fantastic. I'm excited. This is a game changer. We all think we're drinking water, right? That it's really healthy for us. We are really not at home. What I've got a solution. Drinking? This is the Water Logic Hybrid Water Purifier. This is the most certified water purifying system in the world. You're seeing it here first. Go ahead and press that button. Now, good, you got it. Now you just turn it off, but we're going to turn it back on again. So let me explain to you what's going on okay. here under the hood, if you will. Okay. Now we're purifying water. We're going to turn this off. And honestly, this is the cleanest water you're ever going to taste. Okay. This whole thing is going on because the UV light system, we all know that kills bacteria, right? Tastes so the clean. process of going through the carbon filter and getting through all the water, then it goes 22 times around a UV light system yeah. as it comes out, mm. giving you instant water purification when you need it and when you want it. And the other thing I like about it too, the other thing I like about this too, it has an antimicrobial 
spout on it. So even when it comes out, you guys know those drinking fountains, right? When it comes out, it's even purifying it then. I love this. Countertop. And, and no plastic bottles. No, no plastic more, bottles, know. and we know. Now, how this. much? This is $199. Wow. Okay, this is pretty exciting. This is pretty exciting. Okay. All right, for the coffee lovers, this is the Ninja Coffee Bar. And why is it a bar? Okay, because we're gonna we're gonna. Oh, that's all right. That's what water is all oh, about. What a mess. That's all right. We're gonna go ahead and make a specialty drink right there. Okay. okay. But the water was good, right? It, very good. Yeah. So now we hit. It comes with a frother, right? A froth. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, this is all the brews you have. You have classic, rich, bold, specialty brews just at one touch. It also can make a craft of coffee right there if you're a real connoisseur. Yeah. So now you're going to chest that, and then you even have a warming tray. But the idea is we're going to make a cappuccino, and I understand that you love iced caramel macchiatos. I, they're fattening, but I do love them. Okay, you did love them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good because that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> but this craft is great and it's warming. So then you can actually do that specialty drink. Now, brew over ice is important because the auto QI technology that's in the Ninja actually recognizes that you're making brew over ice. So it compensates for more coffee and more brew. Love that. So you don't have to deal with the ice water. Right, right. Write it down, right? No more. There's nothing awesome. worse than watered down iced coffee. How nothing much is this? Now, this retails for $149. Okay. And there's a really cool little teeny thing that I love. What? Anti drip mechanism. Perfect. So you just turn it off. Turn it, it off. Doesn't drip everywhere, right? Perfect. All right, I'm going to scoot around you here okay. just because I want you to, if you want to come around here with me. All now, right. I understand you don't like killers? No, I'm scared of the killer. Okay. Well, this is the solution for okay. that. This is really cool. This is the VTEC video doorbell system. Oh my gosh, you're okay. kidding me. No, all right. Also has the handsets with it, right? And an answering machine. Okay. But here's what's extremely unique about this. Go ahead and press that button right there, Wendy. Okay. Ring the doorbell. Okay, rang the doorbell. Now what it's doing is audio, video, capturing a photo of who's actually at your front door. I love it. Yes. Now who's at the front door, right? Who's so, there? So that, this is what makes it really interesting. Because you've now taken a photo, if you're sitting there in pajamas, or you're sitting there, uh, you don't want to get up off the couch. No. Or you don't want the killer, right? Yeah, right. Now you take a picture of it, and you say, nah, that's okay. You can actually have an intercom and talk to the person at the front door. Go ahead and leave the package. It's okay. No big deal, right? Now, we installed this at your house earlier, and I want to take a look at who stopped by your house because you're here at the show. <laughs> really, it was. I don't know. There it is, right there. Oh, Shut sure. up. Perfect. So I think you don't want to let him in, right? Didn't he just get out of jail? No, I'll let him in. And You're going to let him in? And talk to him. Okay, that's <laughs> great. Well, if you want to let him in, you can do that. How much is this? This is this very This is $119. Fancy. That's it? That's, that's it. That's pretty good. But that's pretty special, right? All right, well, Dr. Gadget, it's well, always fun when you come by. I have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I really love you guys, and I love being here. So you're taking everything home! Everybody have a seat except for you. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good, thanks. My name is Atia. I'm a single divorced mom of three. I recently lost over a hundred pounds. Good for you. Yeah. I'm Wall Street, and I'm surrounded by really, really, really cute white guys. Okay. So I've on never, Wall Street. On Wall Street. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I've never dated outside my race before, but I'm kind of interested in doing it. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because the stigma is just, you know, I don't want to be the angry black girl. So how do I approach... <laughs> what? How do I approach white guys? I've never talked to a white guy before. You approach them like you approach any other man. <laughs> so how you doing? How you doing? You know? Right. What you into? Right. I, I mean, you, 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 you talk to people outside of being black the same way you talk to a black man. Okay. You know, there really is no difference. Okay. And there's a good chance that maybe the guy you sp yeah, speak to has never um, had a relationship what? with a black sure. woman. Maybe. But, you know, so everything's going to be new. Your hips, your thighs, <laughs> your hair. <laughs> Um, but a approach, just act normal. Okay. Be cool. Okay. 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 Yeah. Good luck. Hi. Hey, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Carol. 
I, my husband and I, ex-husband, oops, sorry. <laughs> my ex-husband and I have two children. After 30 years of being together, he left me for another woman. Aww. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I have to, he's still with this woman, so I have to see her all the time at family events. Oh. And every time I see her, she wants to hug me like we're best girlfriends. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to be near this woman. How do I stop her? <laughs> Talk to him. Sibily, don't fight with him and let him know. You know, I'll be cordial to her, like hello and stuff, but the hug, the, the whole, no, just let's not over talk. And also, the other thing that you could do is look as fly as you possibly can. <laughs> and every, it's like, look good. Every single event looks fabulous, okay? All right, very well. We have time for one more quick one. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Sydney. I'm mm -hmm. 21, and okay. I kind of have, like, this friends with benefits situation going on. You know, I've been dating. She's 21. And my friends, <laughs> my friends are, you know, kind of judging me. You know, a lot of them are relationships. They're hopeless romantics. But how do I get them to stop judging me so I can just live my life and just date and enjoy my life? First of all, at 21, <laughs> a heavy relationship, uh, to me, you're the more normal one <laughs> than a 21-year-old girl being all, you know, in love and you know, talking about marriage and whatever they're right, talking about. Right. You're the normal one. <laughs> they're you. not the normal Thank ones. You. And and there's nothing wrong with friends with benefits as long as you're not being a whore. Mm. <laughs> and uh, no, do, one, she got one friend. There's nothing wrong with that, honey bun, okay? okay? You come here. Aww. Don't ask Thank Wendy's you. next. Cure a case of the Mondays with a hot Monday filled with juicy hot topics. Plus, they found love and hip hop in Hollywood. The boyfriends breaking boundaries. Real life hot topics, Miles and Milan. <laughs> Monday on an all new Wendy. <laughs> Problems more. Ask Wendy. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Lisa. How you doing? Hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to get this clear. Um, my parents have been divorced for a really long time, so I don't have mommy or daddy issues, all okay. right? But my dad thinks he's he's feeling himself. He thinks he's a little Rico Suave with it. Uh -huh. And uh, he's dating, and unfortunately, he likes to date people that are around my age. Now, yeah. he had my sister and I young, so he is young, yeah. but. It can cause a problem. And unfortunately, as you would say, some of these women are less than smart. Yes. So they're using him as like a retirement plan. And I have a real problem with that. And I'm trying to get him to see that dating women his own age isn't a problem. Do you guys live in the same house or on the same block or something? I am grown. Like, <laughs> yeah. And these women aren't. And that's exactly the but, problem. Like, I'm so shocked that your father's even bringing these women around you. You know, you're well, not. Well, he hasn't so in a while. He hasn't in a while. Well, let's just hope he keeps it that way. There's nothing okay. you can say to your father. He's, gr he's, he's grown. He, he's grown, and a guy, you know, who had his kids young and stuff, you said he's still young. Yeah. A girl your age is probably normal, more than not. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, girl. Okay. All right. Thank you, Wendy. Take care. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. My name's Lorraine. My youngest daughter just got a job and moved out on her own, left our house. I'm really proud of her. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, we got stuck with her cat. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love my daughter, but how do I get her to take responsibility for this cat? She moved to a place that won't accept pets. Well, why would she do that? <laughs> so now you have to feed the cat and yes. change the litter, and you're bending down yes. and, you're, and you're back and whatnot. And changing the box, like, every well, day. Well, have you ever... <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Have you ever thought of taking the cat to a shelter and telling your daughter that the cat ran away? Oh, that would break her heart. <laughs> no, I haven't, but don't give me any ideas. <laughs> There's only one thing you can do. Either take care of the cat or take the cat to the shelter. Or give her a timeline. No, she already <laughs> signed a, a lease. She's yes. in this apartment. Yes, yeah. she is. Yeah. Okay. Shelters are great places. <laughs> okay, All right. Lorraine. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Up next, gospel superstars Mary Mary are here on the Wendy stage.
We've got Wendy Bling just for you. T-shirts, diva fans, my favorite mug, and more. Go to wendyshow.com and click Shop Wendy. Are you shopping? guests are Grammy Award winning gospel duo. They both have successful solo careers as well. They're performing today a medley of their songs including Get Up, Life, and I Love God. Give it up please for Erica and Tina Campbell, better known as Mary Mary. I'd have been here like two seasons ago yes. talking about my broken life. Yeah. And in the middle of that, an album came out of it. All these songs that inspired me yeah. and encouraged me. And so I just figured I'd give it to the world. If it lifted me, maybe it can lift them. We like solo, but I'm glad that you guys are still together. Erica, um, were you nervous about how people were going to judge you with I love God? You know, I... <laughs> For about three minutes, my, feel my feelings were hurt that they didn't get it. Okay. But then I got over it. I mean, I'm bold about my faith. I love God. I do. And I'm not ashamed of it. Very nice. Yeah. 
Now, Erica, you're hosting the 40, she's hosting 46. the 46th annual uh, Dove Awards. Yes. Uh, what's that all about, Sunday? It's a, it's a Christian award show that acknowledges all the accomplishments I'm hosting. I have about uh, three wig changes and four clothes changes. Fabulous. And I'm going to have a good time with Sadie Robertson. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a blast this Sunday on TBN. Our kind of show, okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, it was really nice to see both of you again. Thank you. Longtime Judy's of the show. Erica's album, everybody, is called Help 2.0, and Tina's album is called Personal. They're both available now. Be sure to watch the Dove Awards Sunday night at 9 o'clock. Eye candy is next. Don't go far. Yeah, I know you want one. Everybody does. Uh, that my How You Doing Diva fan. Today, we're going to reveal our audience eye candy of the day. I only have one fan, but everybody's really a winner here because you're all really fashionable. So, drum roll, please. Today's audience eye candy is Renee Mitchell from Dallas, Texas. I love your entrance. How you doing? Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Simple, beautiful, great. Thank you. I got the blazer for 20 bucks. I wanted to add a pop of color with the blouse for 15. Nice. And the pants for 25, shoes 50. Now, what do you do for yourself there in Dallas? I'm a database administrator. Yes, so you have the day off and thanks for coming here. Yes. All right, well look, here's your diva fan. And uh, thank you, Renee. Thank you. We'll be right back. Yeah. Thanks, Renee. After show? Yeah. When this show is done, I go in my office and break down life. <laughs> it's called The After Show, and you can watch it at wendyshow.com or on my YouTube channel. I want to thank Mary Mary. Always nice to catch up with them. Dr. Gadget, thank you for all the goodies. Studio audience, you loved your Dr. Gadget stuff? I know. Tomorrow, my Hot Talk panel is here to break down the week's hottest stories. Plus, from Good Morning America, the anchor Amy Robach stops by. And, of course, I got you covered with all the latest juicy hot topics. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>